Hello, this is Matt Moser, a partner with Alchemy Solutions. And today what I'd like to do is cover an inquiry that came in through one of our blogs in terms of how do I create up underneath .NET a uh, COBOL program, um, the uh, generate an executable DLL or XE, without using the uh, Net COBOL um, for .NET up underneath Visual Studio. And basically there is a uh, COBOL C compiler that you can utilize and what I have right here is the documentation for that. Um, and the way you get to the documentation is go through start and then your um, Net COBOL for .NET version 4.0 in this particular case Fujitsu Net COBOL for .NET version 4.0 user's guide. The uh, the COBOL C in this particular case is the name of the COBOL program and the documentation points to my COBOL directory which happens to be where you have it stored. And in this particular case on my system I have it kept at C colon program files Fujitsu Net COBOL for .NET version 4.0 COBOL subfolder and within that is my COBOL C.exe. Now, on my system, I set it up within my path so that no matter where I am, I can simply type in COBOL C and it can get to the associated COBOL C.exe, which allows for the compile as well as the needed DLLs. So, without continuing too much further, um, you'll notice that you can build your COBOL programs by following the following syntax COBOL C, which is the name of the program. Again, make sure you have your path set correctly or use the full path to it, the name of the COBOL program, and then any switches that you might have set up or compile or directive. So in this particular case, it's wanting to build an executable, and it's that's the command and within which to do that. You can build a batch file and pass this information into the batch file, which is outside the scope of this particular tutorial. Um, again, if you were to build a DLL, you can do it quite simply. COBOL C, the name of that, and your target library. I will be showing you some batch files in a subsequent tutorial to this. This is part one of two because there's a lot of material to cover. Um, and because it's, it is really pretty flexible in terms of what you want to do. Um, you can come in here and you can combine multiple COBOL programs into one. In this particular case, program one, program two, going into my main, which becomes an executable, and uh, and so forth. So, um, definitely take a look at the help, and all your compiler directives can be found in here in alphabetical list. You can look at details for them. Um, there's a topical list, all kinds of information on various compiler directives. Um, one that you may want to take note of, especially if you're doing non-COBOL programming, and you're interfacing to it is the alpha all compiler directive. Okay. All right. We're going to um, go back and I'm going to show you a compilation here real quickly. And I just happen to have up in front of me a uh, a compile. And so that happens to be this one right here, as you can see. Alright, and it did do the compile, but we'll go ahead and we'll do the compile again, and we'll do it utilizing how the documentation is telling us how to do this. So, again, here's the line that I'm going to execute right here. And I have a DLL, call it console DLL dot DLL. And I'm going to say compile, I'm sorry, COBOL C space and the name of it is console dll.cob and I'm going to make it a dll target library and you'll notice that it built the dll for us at 3:28 p.m. which is basically 3:38 p.m. which is basically the time that I have on my particular laptop and so anyway that's really all there was in terms of um, building it and what I'll do is in the next tutorial I'm going to show you something called a resource file which can store 
um, all your different compile options and it's uh, really um, quite flexible in terms of you can point to that resource file and, uh, and do your compiles. Um, so look forward to speaking with you again in the next tutorial.